Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and there's a new firmware update from PB Farmer for the iServer AL0. Now the clock offsets have been increased. We can go minus 125 megahertz or plus 875, but that doesn't mean your machine will actually be able to do that. So don't push it that hard. It might be on the capability of the machine itself, says PB Farmer. Uh, the firmware does not enforce these limits at this time, and the ASIC will probably crash if you attempt to go outside these bounds. You need to definitely mod this thing and prepare it and give it plenty of juice or power in order to complete this. Now, currently, my iServer AL0 is sitting around 450 uh, giga hash, and that's with the clocks around 700 and the voltages around 355, 365, somewhere in there. Now that we got the new firmware update, we can just go ahead and try to play around with it safely. Do not push it too far beyond its capability especially these the, the mosfets and the power stages so we're going to go ahead and open this firmware go ahead and upload and then start tweaking and tuning seeing what we can get or what we can push this machine to while monitoring the power draw speaking of power looking at our smart things power meter we're only sitting at 130 watts at the outlet uh, but our power stage is already hitting 81 degrees celsius as we've seen with the ks0 ks0 pro ultra whatever model uh, when you start getting to the 90s you're pretty much at the limits of your machine so the temperatures and the electrical output or the power draw is going to limit this machine more than the clock so now now, let's push it a little bit higher by going to the minor section you can see where my clocks are right now 75 15 and we're going to try to go a little bit further than that but 130 ish watts at the power meter on a 230 watt power supply as i'm tuning we can see here that we were climbing up from 450-ish uh, giga hash to the 480s 490s but as we climbed up you can see the temperature on that board power stage continue to climb up and once we started getting into the higher 80s um, it then dropped the hash rate significantly to around 420 416 somewhere in there turning my fans up though did improve it and now we're climbing back up to closer to 500 giga hash the current clock target is um 110 uh, on the core or clock offset and 22 millivolts on the voltage offset what i did though is i divided 15 by 75 and then times it by whatever i want the clock offset to be and that's helping me kind of gauge where i want my clock to be so if you do that with a calculator right now you will see if you wanted to run a certain clock for example let's do that 15 divided by 75 which was my original stable setup times let's say we want to run 150 on the clock it's going to be 30 millivolts so pushing it incrementally, again, 5, 10, 15 at a time, uh, slow increments upwards, making sure to monitor thermals as well as the power draw. And speaking of which, right now we climbed up from, um, I think it was like 130 to now 142. So we went up around 12 watts, uh, nothing too crazy, but yeah, we're climbing up and power draw has been not too bad this power supply is a 230 watt power supply but i'm not going to push it all the way up to 230 just want to see where i can get it comfortable all right and after some testing for quite a few hours actually uh unfortunately because i'm using a cheap power supply anything over 165 watts uh, on the power meter seems to just make this device stop working it's not the device it's not the overclocks, it's just a cheap power supply. So um, I'm in a position now that I need to swap over my 330 watt power supply, but I can say that we're successfully getting over 500 giga hash. It was doing that, it was pretty steady and calm until the power supply gave up the ghosts. And as you can see on screen, we're right underneath 160 watts. So 157, I could probably do 162 before this stupid power supply decides to just stop working again and just what's funny is you can unplug it plug it back in and just kicks back on no problem it's just a cheap quality power supply that's causing issues but now we're we're getting over a hundred giga hash more than we originally were um from stock and then with this update from pb farmer 
I'm pretty sure we can push this thing even further. What I finally settled on is about 160 megahertz clock offset and about 35 to 40 voltage offset. But anytime I put 40 here or above 40, the power supply gives up the ghost. So I would do some testing on my own with the big boy power supply, the 330 watt one. And I will come back in a different video giving you my best settings and configuration. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. PB Farmer Dev doing a really good job uh, bringing out updates uh, in a timely fashion considering uh, how recently this miner was released. I expect more to come as different revisions and models are released like the RX-0, so on and so forth. You can see my clocks right now around 781. Uh, temperatures are looking really good, especially on the power stage. Just turned up the fans a little bit. Voltages are holding true, and the small fans are just kicking on for a certain range. Nothing too crazy there. But thanks so much for clicking on this video. Do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out. Make sure to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out additional links in the description to help support this channel. Uh, like to uh, one of our uh, title sponsors for the next couple months, Crypto Miner Bros. Link is in the description. Thank you.